want to tell people I ran a red light when I didn't. That's a good point. Somebody was watching. Don't run any red lights. With authority. <laughs> Hey guys, all the kiddos are at grandma's house tonight and so Farmer and I are on a hot date going to Big Town. Since we live in the middle of nowhere, to go on a date we have to drive for more than an hour. So since we're sitting in the pickup forever, figured we could do a little Q&A. Sorry about the bumps, this road is awful, awful. We're gonna go the other way next time. Okay, well this is our first, okay, and this is not our first date night, but this is our first <laughs> date night of answering questions about our house. Um, if you want to add any uh, that we can respond to later on a potentially future, potential future <laughs> date night. Hopefully we have more dates. We can uh, address those at a future time. So please comment. That Ask means away. leave the questions in the comment section below so that we can answer your questions. Yes, leave a comment, leave a comment. Intro, real quick. Uh, Farm and I are owner builders and um, we're living in our home right now but it's not quite finished. Our house is 3,500 square feet plus a 400 square foot bonus room up in the trusses and we have 700 square feet of attached garage and 700 square feet of covered patio deck whatever you want to call it back deck we're building in central washington and our house was quoted at five hundred thousand dollars right yes five hundred thousand dollars to have a general contractor build it three years ago three years ago yes that was not even a little bit within our price range so we decided to own or build and like i said we are not finished with it, but we are living in it. We have spent a little under 300,000 right now. We're hoping to finish it right around 300,000. So savings of $200,000 and a few years of lots and lots of work. We're at a stoplight, so at least it's not bumpy right So now. hopefully you guys don't get car sick <laughs> at a stoplight. I'm car sick. First question. Uh, what made you decide to own or build? Oh, uh, that's an easy one. You. Basically, the issue is, or was, we wanted to build. We knew where we wanted to build. We did not know how much it was going to cost, but we knew the process of saving money and being ready to build was not keeping pace with inflation or prices. We have wanted to be in control of what we were building. You don't build a house for 50, 60, 70 dollars a square foot anymore, around our area anyway, unless you build it yourself. So we decided that if we were going to build in the near future, we better start now while our money was still our money, basically. And we were going to go as far as we could with that. We were hoping to get dried in. And then basically from paycheck to paycheck, we were going to then finish the house and make it livable and at least not be going backwards financially. So the second question, was it worth it? It depends on your definition of worth it. The answer is yes, it is definitely worth it. Were there ways that we could have improved, done better, whatever, yes. Did we do everything absolutely correct no can't necessarily do things in your typical order you can't necessarily do things all at once uh, some of our projects take way longer than we would want them to way longer than it would take for a crew to come in and do it but in the end our time is worth more than paying somebody the money that we do not have. And for us to have come up with another $200,000 for this house, just, I mean, we would have been years and years if that ever even happened. So I would agree with everything he said and say yes, it was absolutely worth it because of the savings. We can put in a whole lot more hours than we can put in dollars. Okay, the third question is, what has been the hardest part? That's hey. a hard question. That yeah, is a hard that question. might be a 10 part question. Everyone wants to hear from you, not from me. They hear from me all the time. We actually had a conversation with a couple of friends the other day about the process and whatever. The hardest part is being satisfied getting something done that you can't see. You do not 
see progress a lot of the time. You can spend all day on it. You can spend a Saturday, time off, whatever it is. You can work on certain projects, do whatever, finish the day, and you don't even see what you've accomplished. Right now, one of the most annoying things, you get all the tools out, takes you 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever it is, depending on what you're working on. You work for a couple hours because that's all you have at night. And then you have to put all the tools back because we still need to live in that house. Yeah, because we're living in it. Getting tools in and out, starting and stopping, and not seeing something through to the end has probably been... Yeah, and if you choose to live in your house while you're finishing it, it creates a whole different thing. I mean, that it's, it's really different if you're going to finish your whole house before you move in versus moving in and finishing it. It has good things and bad things. We are living in our house while we finish it. So that has created a whole different dynamic. Okay, one more. I guess I don't know. Hard disk means the most hard, but <laughs> this is the list of really hard. It's also knowing which project to do next. I don't know. There's what makes the most sense in the building process and there's what makes more, more sense in the living in process. Well, I have a different answer. Okay. Mm, for me, the hardest thing has been those days. Getting me to work. No. <laughs> Well, yes. No, for me, the hardest thing has been those days where I have serious doubts about what we're doing. Everyone's going to feel that at some point. And those days where I was like totally overwhelmed with something, had no idea what I was doing, and maybe had someone say something like, you're an idiot, why the heck did you do that? Those days were the hardest for me because I started worrying that what we had done was really dumb and maybe cost us way more money or that we messed up and our house was gonna fall over. Those days were the hardest for me. If you are having doubts about what, what you're doing and whether or not to own or build or if you're already owner building and you're having those doubts, then the best place to go is to other people who have done it because the money savings is real. Go online or talk to someone else who has done it because that makes all the difference when you can talk to someone else who's not gonna tell you you're crazy. All right, last question because we're almost there. Is there anything that you wish you had done differently? That's you, not me. I don't know if I can <laughs> answer that one right now. Uh, things I would have done differently. I wish we would have excavated our house down deeper. We wanted to keep it up high. Um, for the view, I would have excavated lower to make it so we were ground level at our front door and had the garage the same, the floor level of the garage, the same level of our house. So there weren't enough steps getting in, there weren't steps getting in through the main door or out the, from the garage. I don't know, you better, you better It's really that. hard to talk about things that you wish you would have done differently. Cause there, you could take any one situation and there are a few things that we could say, oh wow, we should have done that this way or we should have done that this way. But overall, my answer would be that I wish I would have, oh. Sorry, we got a phone call and then we had to go eat some panda because it's my favorite. What I was saying was, what would we have done differently? Yes, okay. I think we did a pretty decent job when we had to hire people of making sure that we were hiring the right people and getting the price that we wanted to. That went pretty well. However, there were a few times where we hired some people we shouldn't have hired. Most of the time that was because I found a deal that seemed too good to be true. If you find a deal that's too good to be true, it's it's probably too good to be true. We had a couple not great experiences hiring people. The two that I can think of off the top of my head were because I made a quick decision and I was like, I gotta do this now or I'm not gonna get this deal and it kind of bit me in the butt and so that would be something that I would do differently is make sure that I am meticulous when hiring each person um, to work on our house. But I do think that that brings up a good point. Um, if I would add one more thing that I would change. Don't freak out if it takes you a little bit longer. Take the time to slow down. This is a personality thing. I do not like wasting time. I do not like other people <laughs> wasting time. I wanted things to get done. I wanted to be there to make them go faster, I whatever it was. But there were things that I could have slowed down and just got a little bit better results. But it drives me nuts and it is not the way I'm wired. 
Okay, before you click off on some other video, please leave any questions you might have for Farmer and I in the comments section below. And next time we do our little date night Q&A in the pickup, then we can answer your question. Nobody can even tell if you're looking at the road or looking at the camera because you have your glasses on. We're just not funny people on camera. Nailed it.